Here's your Trouble Vans. Today we're going to have a look at the 2015 Free Spirit Class B van. And all of our Free Spirit vans are built on the Mercedes-Benz van chassis. 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. This is a turbo diesel, 3 liter V6. Has a 5-speed transmission. As you can see, everything is easily accessed in this beautiful Class B motorhome. Pin quiet. This has got the Bluetech diesel engine with the DEF fill, so it runs clean diesel. It leaves a small footprint in our environment. Just under 23 feet in length. Gets fantastic gas mileage. And you can go anywhere in North America, any federal, provincial park, because you're only at 23 feet in length. Some really great features at the front, of course, we've got a step bumper, which is nice, easy access for cleaning your windshield. We've also got the bi -Zeon headlights. With the headlamp washers, we've got Parktronic, so it'll beep when you get too close front and too close back. It's got collision assist. It's got lane change assist. All the great safety features that you want to have on this 2015 chassis. Another great feature on the Mercedes-Benz chassis on our Free Spirit motorhome is, of course, our locking fuel fill. So it's easy to fill up the diesel fuel, not get any smell back into the coach, and nobody can get into your diesel fuel. It's a nice little safety lock. I love that. We have great fiberglass ground effects. As you can see, full fiberglass all the way through gives the unit a great look. And if you look up front here, you can see we've got our aluminum Alcoa rims. And here's what's really important. Come on back here. We run six Alcoa rims as an option. So inner, outer, both sides and up front, so very important, six rims because these are perfectly balanced. You don't want to have just four because then the inner wheel wouldn't be balanced to the outer wheel. So it's very important if you're going to have the aluminum rims, you got to have six, and we've got six as an option on the Free Spirit for 2015. As you can see, we're on the driver's side here. Let's have a look at some of the great little features. We've got a beautiful little C.R. Lawrence glass window in our bathroom, which is very important. We've got our tankless hot water heater. We've got our furnace, your easy connection for your shore power. So nicely done right there. And then we've got our service module right here, which is great. We've got an exterior shower. We've got our black water flush. We have our easy access water fill. We've got our remote fill propane. We've got an on-off switch on the propane. If you're going on ferries, going in tunnels, you can just turn off the propane just like that. We've got our cable connection. We've got a little light here for lighting it up at night. So everything is right here, easily accessed. Okay, if you look down underneath the service center on the outside, you'll look down here, we unscrew this. We've got our, our sewer line system right here. The sewer hose is built right in. So all you have to do is pull it out, connect it in, and look at this, we've got our black water tank and our fresh water tank fill right here. Always pull the black first, then the fresh water. That's how easy it is to dump your tanks. Two minutes, I'm done. People always say to me, Dean, your units are so quiet when we're going down the road. Well, a lot of little features that we do is we spray foam underneath here, all your wheel whales, all your tanks. That way it's a lot quieter when you're going down the road. You don't hear stones banging into the uh, top floor area. Plus all the tanks down below are spray foamed as well so that rocks coming up from the tires don't smash into the tanks. We're at the back of the Free Spirit right now. As you can look way up there, you can see we got our backup camera. Anyways, that's really cool. Plus, look at this. This is our optional spare tire. It's actually kind of a cool little option to have. It's a, a spare tire, obviously. And you can use it kind of as a little bit of a table. And it happened to me once. We were RVing. We got into the overflow campground. There was no picnic tables. This was our picnic table for three days. So it actually is pretty cool. You can put a barbecue on here. You actually can take this lid off and you can put store stuff in there, your sewer hose chemicals, your sewer uh, water lines. It can be used as a little storage area because in a Class B motorhome, you want to utilize all your storage areas. Inside the tires, a great little storage area. You can have a look here. These doors open and you can open them up all the way, which is really cool. So you've got great access in and out of the motorhome on both sides. And you can see down below here, we've got lots of storage area underneath here. You can leave your 30 amp service line right here, short connection, lots of storage area. Plus, we've got a step bumper. This is a great little feature to have. With the step bumper, you can step up into the coach, 
lay your sofa bed down, your dining room area, and look at this, is I've got front row seats to my children's soccer games. How perfect is this? That's one of the great things about a Class B motorhome. Not only is it a vehicle you can drive every day, but it also becomes my RV. I can use it for day tripping, going to sporting events, take it to NFL football games, hockey games, you name it. This is a great little motorhome. Here we are on the passenger side of the campground side. Of course, we've got our 110 plug. You can plug in there. We've also got, of course, our fiberglass ground effects. And of course, we've got a beautiful awning up top, power awning, simple to use. Just press a button and out comes the awning. And this is one great big awning. Look at this, over seven feet wide and in length over 12 feet. And if it's a little bit of a breezy day, you can drop the legs down A little bit of a breezy day, you can drop the legs down, you can tent peg them in. On an occasional day where it's a little more breezier than that, you might want to lock it right into the body here. If it's a super windy day, you probably want to leave the awning in, but this is a great feature to have. Nice big awning. And another great feature for 2015 is, look at this, built-in awning lights. How great is that? You don't need to carry little lanterns with you. You've got lots of nighttime light. And if LED lights in the awning aren't quite good enough, we've also got an LED light built right into the chassis. Plus, how great is this? Look at this. Power step for getting in and out. It's got a lock on it so it'll stay open. Automatically close. When you turn on your power, it automatically close. Plus, look at this. Full screen. How great is this? I can have my awning out. I can still have the screen down. No bugs can get me. Beautiful. That's a full screen door. We're now inside the 2015 Free Spirit and we're in our 50th anniversary edition. Have a look at this beautiful motorhome. As you can see, we're sitting up front right here and I really like the way we've designed this so we can turn our chairs. We use the Mercedes-Benz swivels and they easily turn moving front to back. They're all done in ultra leather so we can use the driver and passenger seats as part of the coach, having conversations front and back. And we've also got a great little option here. Look at this. We have a little coffee table or a little computer workstation and we can just put our table up here. So in the morning, if somebody's still sleeping, you wanna have coffee or you wanna work on your computer, you can do it right here. How great is that? I just want to show you how great these chairs are. This is all done in ultra leather. It's a synthetic man-made leather. It doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, doesn't crack. We've got French stitching. We reupholster them so they're nice and soft when you're driving down the road. And of course, they become chairs to use inside the motorhome. Just a great way that we reupholster these chairs and make them comfortable and make the chairs part of the motorhome. Okay, on the Mercedes-Benz chassis, this is one great chassis. We've talked about it lots. It's got a lot of great little features, obviously, tilt steering. We've got power windows. We have power locks. We've got the new multi functional steering wheel for 2015. So I can use my phone, control it right here, control the stereo system. I don't have to be reaching over trying to find something. Bluetooth, it's all built right in and it's all controlled right here on the steering wheel. That's a great little safety feature. I love all the great little small features that are done in a leisure travel van. And another little small little great feature, look at this, LED reading lights built right in. So if I wanna read a book right here while I'm sitting in the chair, not a problem. Storage is very important in any size motorhome, especially when we're 23 feet long. So we try to use every single spot we can for storage. Now here we are above the cab area, nice big storage area. Also do friction locks on there so that they will never pop open when you're driving down the road. Another new feature for 2015 is that we've added an AM, FM, CD, DVD player. It's also got Bluetooth and it's very accessible. You don't have to go underneath the cab area to get to the to the DVD player. So it's right there, easy to use. Working our way back into the coach, as you can see here, we have our wet bath, great little bathroom here. Sit down toilet, sit down shower. We've got a mirror medicine cabinet. We've got our new Corian countertops. Quite spacious for a small, you remember we're only 23 feet long, but it's nice to have your own private bathroom. You don't have to go to public washrooms. You've got the bathroom built right in. We do utilize every little spot of space that we have. We've got a fan, which is very important. Of course, look at this beautiful shower head, right? Pulls down. So you gotta like that. You can also control the water flow. And then medicine cabinets built in. Got a little built-in stainless steel sink for brushing your teeth, shaving. That's a great little feature. Window. We've also got a china toilet. 
Very nice. And look at this little sliding shower door. And then plus, if you need to hang your clothes and let them dry, look at this little built in clothes hanger. Another great little feature, we have a 12 volt power vent here. So you can turn it off and on, open it up. It's also humidity controlled, which is nice. And that'll keep the unit nice and cool. If it gets hot. Plus if we work our way back, you can see we've got LED lights throughout the entire coach. And they're all controlled right here. And you can turn them off or turn them lighter, darker. So now we're in the galley area, and for 23 feet, we've got a pretty big galley. This is quite exciting. And plus, we have three different colors of wood. We've got our traditional cherry wood for 2015. We've got our maple, and new is the espresso wood. Oh, is that ever beautiful. Look at how beautiful these doors are. European hidden hinges, curved. Look at the space you have here for storage. That's just great in the galley. Plus, we've got our brand new Corian countertop. This is private collection Corian. It's a beautiful color. It really works beautifully with the espresso wood. And of course, we've got a nice big stainless steel sink. Got a built-in cutting board right here. Of course, we've got our faucet. Two burner stove. We've got a splash guard built right into it. Spark ignition so you can fire it right up. And then look above here. Look at these beautiful high gloss white curved doors. How beautiful is this? Of course, we've got friction fit on them so that they're not gonna pop open when you're going down the road. And plus, look at this, LED rope lighting above the cabinets. That's on the 50th anniversary edition. That is nice. Every galley needs as much storage as you can get. So plus, look at this, even some more storage. Look at this pull-out pantry. Very, very, very nice. More storage over here. And of course, we have all of our drawers. Got a place here for your dish towels drawers full drawer extension glide solid wood pull all the way out plus every single unit we've got full water filtration which means we filter all the water in the coach that's very important to have and of course wood galley wouldn't be complete without a counter extension gordon ramsay would be very impressed by that plus look at all the glass lots of windows and plus we've got mcd shade right there so you can get privacy when you want it. Plus new for 2015, our customers asked for this and we jumped on it as soon as we could get one available, a double door fridge. So it's a three-way fridge, so it's 12 volt, 110 and propane, which is fabulous. Plus look at the size of this fridge. So full separate fridge, and then of course the full separate freezer. All done in kind of a stainless steel look. Looks fabulous with the espresso wood. Just above the fridge, obviously, we've got our convection microwave oven. So it's a traditional microwave. It's also a convection oven. So you can uh, bake pies, make chicken, whatever you want to do. It'll bake, it'll brown. It does it all. Nice little size and easy access right above the fridge. Here's our TV right here, obviously, and it's on a swivel mount. This is the great thing about this. You can watch TV at the back, or we can swivel it all the way around facing me way up here, back in the driver passenger seats, so I can watch TV front or back. Now that is some ingenuity. I just want you to have a look at how beautiful this coach is with the 50th anniversary edition colors. High gloss white doors, curved, the uh, rope lighting that's so classy and so beautiful, all the LED lights, and look at all the storage space. I mean, it is hard to believe we are in a 23 foot motorhome. You have all of this storage. Plus, we added another little storage area up here for 2015, which is great. But look at this. Tons of storage. This is one of the things I love about the Free Spirit. Versatility. So first, I'm in a lounging area right now, watching TV, just relaxing. Want to have dinner? It's dinner time. Not a problem. Now, this is the way you put a table leg base in. That is locked in place, you can hear it click in. And then I've got my table top, it just slides right in here. Look at this, I can slide it, turn it, spin it, move it around, easy access into the fridge. If I have to get something, I can slide over, walk up, not a problem, not interrupting anybody. So now I'm a dining room area. One, two, three, four people for dinner, not a problem. In the back of the Free Spirit, this is a great little feature. We have awning style windows, so you can open them all the way up. They're on both sides, so you can get cross ventilation, which is a great thing to have on a hot summer day. And now we're gonna make it into a bed area, and we've done a new feature for 2015. I really like this. We no longer have to use the tabletop as part of the bed. That's a great little thing. These slide out as my 
my bed area to secure the bed. Now that is great. And then we slide the wood over and over. Now I've got my base. Now I put my cushions in. And now I've got the part of the bed. And now I just got to push the button and bring the electric sofa bed down. And then it's all one big bed area. 68 by 73 inches, all done in ultra leather, all done with memory foam. It's super comfortable and I have lots of room to sleep. As a matter of fact, depending on your height, you can sleep this way or you could probably even sleep this way. So east, west, north, south, whichever way you wanna do it. Plus, if you want, you can just leave them as kind of twin beds. You could leave this section not in and then have separate twin beds. So, very versatile. This is one of the great features about the Free Spirit van. You've got the bed area in the back. I've also got my front area where I can put my little table up, work on my computer, I can watch TV. So that's very versatile. If you and your partner don't get up at the same time or go to bed at the same time, two separate living areas. It's morning time, time for breakfast. So now let's make it back up into a booth. So very simple to do. Press the button, bring up the sofa. Now with the electric sofas up, we're back into a dining room area, plus I have seat belts back here if I have to carry extra passengers. And of course, look at this, LED lights with separate controls. And plus, if you like to read, you get separate reading lights. We're back in the galley area. We got our thermostat right here. Look at this built-in spice rack. How cool is that? But here we are back. This is your control center, just like in your house. So you've got a furnace and an air conditioner in your house. We have a furnace and we have an air conditioner in this motor home. 11,000 BTU air conditioner, very simple to use. You just move it to what you want. Cool, set your temperature. Boom, the air conditioner is gonna come on when you're running your generator or plugged into 110 power. It's gonna keep you nice and cool because 11,000 BTUs is what you need to keep a unit of 23 feet long, keeping it nice and cool in the hot sun. Plus we got our furnace built right in, so you just would set your temperature on your furnace just like you would at your house. Furnace would come in, keep you nice and warm in colder weather. So this is your Dometic 11,000 BTU air conditioner. You need a big air conditioner to keep a unit like this cool in the hot sun, no question. I love how we do this just inside our full wardrobe hanging closet. We've got our service module, so it's nice and hidden. So right now here, you can see this, we've got our tankless hot water system and that'll heat the, your hot water and you can set the temperature here, depending on the temperature of the water inside your tank or, or outside in the shore water coming in. Then we've got our service center here where you can check your battery, fresh water, and this is kind of cool. We've increased the fresh water tank size to 36.5 gallons for 2015, so you have lots of fresh water on board. Gray tank, black tank, and of course our propane. And we've increased the propane tank on the 2015 models to 13 gallons, which is quite great because we use an optional propane generator, 2.5 kilowatts. So if you're gonna get the generator, now you've got a bigger tank to run the generator. It's also got an hour meter. This is our 600 watt inverter. So we have this running off of our electrical system for our TVs and stuff. So if you're dry camping or you're at a shopping center and you wanna watch uh, the local football game, you can turn on inverter, you can turn on the TV and watch TV without having to run your generator or to be plugged in. And of course, this is your button for your electric sofa. So very simple, very hidden, and very good. The Free Spirit is one great motorhome for 2015. If you need a motorhome or a vehicle that can go anywhere in North America, use it to go hiking, use it to go golfing, use it for day trips. You can drive back and forth to work. This is one great Class B motorhome. For 50 years, we've been building RVs in North America, and I think you're going to love the 2015 Free Spirit. You now have the freedom to explore all of North America. Get to your closest dealer, take one out for a test drive, because I think you're going to love it. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans.